colors in the crayons. There's eight colors. And they can remind us of some wonderful truths about Jesus. Um, so first I'll start with purple. Purple is the color of royalty. Um, it reminds us that Jesus is King of Kings and fully God. And the Bible begins with, in the beginning, God. And Jesus was there in heaven ruling as God the Son. And John 1, 1 to 3 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and things came into being through Him. And the next one is is orange. Um, orange is a color of some types of dirt or clay. It helps us remember that Jesus came to earth as fully man. He left heaven and came to live as man here on earth, yet he never sinned. In John 1, 14 says, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. And red... When we see red, it reminds us that Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood to pay for our sin. Um, Jesus did what we couldn't do. He was both God and human, yet he never sinned. And red reminds us of God's great love for us. And Romans 5.8 said, But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And the next is black. Um, the Bible says we're helpless and dead in sin without Jesus. Black reminds us that Jesus was put in a black tomb and was dead for three days. He experienced the punishment for our sin, but sin could not hold him. God raised Jesus from the grave, and he still lives. Because he lives, we can have eternal life too. Black reminds us that Jesus has conquered sin, death, and darkness. Acts 2, 24 says, But God raised him from the dead, putting an end to the agony of death, since it was impossible for him to be held in its power. Now the next is brown. Um, it says, brown reminds you of, well, it says here, you know, chocolate, which, okay, that sounds good to me. Um, think about M&M's. It has like a fragile shell, and then there's chocolate in the middle. So without the middle, it'd be just a fragile shell. So that can remind us that the Holy Spirit's with us um, and how fragile and shallow or empty our lives are, too, without Jesus or the Holy Spirit. Um, there's nothing we can do to save ourselves. It's God's gift. We must choose to say yes. And, or we are saying, no, I don't want it, if you don't say yes. Um, 1 John 5, 12 says, He who has the Son has the life. He who does not have the Son, God does not have the life. Does not have the life. Does not have the Son of God. Okay. Um, green, it's like a new life, like spring's coming. You see all the plants starting in the grass um, and trees and other things that grow. Um, green reminds us of the new life Jesus gives us when we trust him as our Savior. It also reminds us that we can continue to grow in knowing him as we study the Bible and pray and serve and obey him. Um, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not as a result of work, so that no one may boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, so that we would walk in them. And next is blue. Blue, oh, that's black, okay. Blue reminds you of what the sun, not the sun, the clouds, the, the sky, okay. that's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> and the air around us. Um, we can't see the air, but we can see its effects when like the, the leaves move or the, the wind blows on us. Um, we feel the breeze. Um, oh, that's about the Holy Spirit, okay. Um, and then that reminds us that the Holy Spirit is in us, even though we can't see it. Um, so John 14, 16 to 17 says, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may be with you forever. That is the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not see him or know him. But you know him, because he abides with you and will be in you. And next is yellow. 
yellow is like sunshine. <laughs> it reminds me of heaven, um, full of light and of warmth, because Jesus is there. Um, God promises that if we trust in Jesus as our Savior and Lord, then heaven with him will be our home one day for eternity. In John 14, 1 to 6, says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would not have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That's where I am. That you may be also, as you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How do we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Okay. So, um, just in, to summary, purple is Jesus, the King of Kings. Orange is Jesus was fully man. He understands what we've gone going through. Red is Jesus, our Savior. His brun blood brings us forgiveness. Black is that Jesus is more powerful than sin and death. Brown, that without Jesus, our life is fragile and empty. Green, that Jesus gives new life. Blue, that Jesus is always with us through the Holy Spirit. And yellow, that Jesus is preparing a home for believers in heaven. Amen. Amen. Okay.